Okay then, YouTube is the 25th of October, time for a bit of physics fun, and kind of a bit of chemistry as well. So what I've got here is a little bit of science putty in a, in a little tin. Let's take the lid off and get it off. This has been sitting in my bag for um, a good week now, and it's been sitting like this. So you can see something kind of weird has happened to it. Science putty has an unusual flow characteristics. Um, these are due to this ingredient. I'm going to try and pronounce it. Let's see if I can manage it. It's polydimethyl siloxane, which is or PDMS, which is basically what we call a viscoelastic substance. And viscoelasticity is a type of non-Newtonian flow. So we've looked on my channel at non-Newtonian shear um, sort of materials before. So that's like cornstarch and water. You can see here it's it's weird because it's kind of like very sort of plastic, um, there's a little bit of adhesion there, um, so I can slowly pull, like it's got elasticity there, hasn't it? Um, so what happens is, is it acts as this viscous liquid over a period of time, so if I'm really gentle, I'm just applying a little bit of pull, it's really easy to pull out, the particles just interlock a little bit, but enough to pull out. Um, if I try and pull harder, it's it gets harder to do okay but I can pull it out it's obviously very elastic it's kind of like sort of like a plastic here isn't it um, but the 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 apparent viscosity increases um, quite a lot with the amount of force you apply so it can be characterized as what we call a dilettante fluid now the original silicon uh, sorry the silly putty comprises comprises all sorts of clever stuff lots of these Dimethyl siloxane, so you've got silica in there, this 65% um, of the dimethyl siloxane, 9% um, thiaxtrol, 4% polydimethyl siloxane, 1% uh, di uh, decamethyl cyclopentasiloxane, 1% glycerin, 1% titanium dioxide. So there's all sorts in there. This one I think is a bit simpler. Now, what's quite cool is you can kind of make it into a bit of a ball, you can roll it into a ball shape and it actually bounces a bit randomly because it's not very round but there you go so bouncy ball very simple and actually if we get, I'll give it a bit more of a better roll if you get it really perfect it's not bad actually so a reasonable bounce height but if I left it there long you know it will just slowly get longer and longer and longer and it just literally squidges out. You saw what happened in the container. It fell all the way in, didn't it? It just seeps into all sides of the container. So when you leave it, so if I leave it there for a couple of hours, it'll just fill the bottom of the container, which you often say that's like a liquid. But clearly that's a solid, but it has this viscoelastic properties. So kind of interesting. So there you go. So a little bit of physics fun.